In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to natural logarithms. Now, in the previous couple of videos, we've introduced the idea of exponential functions and logarithms. So, for example, if we have y equals 2 to the x, so y equals 2 to the x, this would be an example of an exponential function. Okay. Now, these exponential functions have an inverse, and that's what we call logarithms. So the inverse here of y equals 2 to the x, that would be y equals log x base 2. Okay. Now, this logarithm here would be particularly useful for someone who works in computer science, given that we have a base 2 here, and that's particularly useful for working in binary. Okay. Now, as mathematicians, we want something that's useful for us, and this is where we now work with... So if I have y equals e to the x, this would be an example of an exponential function. And the inverse of this here would be y equals log x base e. Okay. Now, we actually don't write it like this. Okay. We write this as ln x. Okay. And this represents the natural logarithm of x. Okay. And what we can see here is a sketch of y equals e to the x. We have a sketch of y equals um, the natural logarithm of x, and then we have this dotted line here of y equals x. And what this is showing us is the curve y equals e to the x. We can reflect that in the line y equals x, and we get y equals the natural logarithm of x. And like I said, this is because they're the inverse of each other. Okay. Now the graph of y equals um, the natural logarithm of x, ln of x, this, is pass this passes through one point here. That's this point here, which has coordinates 1, 0. Okay. The curve doesn't actually intersect with the y-axis. And in fact, it's actually an asymptote. Okay, so the y-axis is an asymptote. Let's just note that here. The y-axis is an asymptote. So let's see if I can spell this correctly. Asymptote. Yeah, there we go. So it's an asymptote of the graph of y equals ln of x. Okay. Similar to in the case here of y equals e to the x, how the x-axis is an asymptote to that curve. Um, obviously, once we reflect that then, then the y-axis becomes an asymptote to y equals the natural logarithm of x. Now, what this means here is that the natural logarithm of x can only be defined for positive values of x. Okay? So if you were to try and put into your calculator um, y equals the natural logarithm of, say, minus 2 here. So if I was to put the natural logarithm of minus 2, then this would return an error. Okay, we can't do this. So this would give us an error. Um, it's not defined. So that's an important point to make. And as x increases here, then the natural logarithm of x keeps going without limit. But we can see that this curve here gets quite steep. Um, or it slows down quite quick, I should say. So it, it does grow without limit, but it's pretty slow. Okay. And there's just one other point to make here. So if we take the exponential function of the natural logarithm of x here, so e to natural logarithm of x, then this is the same as the natural logarithm of e to the x. And in either case, this would just simply give us x. Because they're inverse of each other, once I take the exponential function of the natural logarithm of x, it just essentially cancels each other out. Same again here, I take the natural logarithm of the exponential function of x. Again, they just cancel each other out. Okay? And in each case, it would just give us x. But like I said, Make sure you're familiar with this notation here. We don't write log x base e. We write that as ln of x, okay? But other than that, there's nothing really too much to say here. We're not going to take a look at any questions for this video. Um, so that gives us our introduction there to natural logarithms and brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for logarithms and exponential functions.